Well, I'm Norman, Norman Taylor. 29 years old. Let's go! I'm from Shreveport, and our occupation is self-taught artist. Uh, my name is Thomas Williams. Uh, I'm 43 years old. I used to visit the football games when I was uh, back in town. And um, I heard about this, this sophomore kid, you know, who was playing. And um, from what I knew, when I was in high school, a uh, sophomore hadn't played since uh, like Arnaz Battle. On the first offensive play from scrimmage, Carlisle, Holiday, Arnaz Battle. A great play call. You roll him out, he runs away from the defender. 65 yards, touchdown, Notre Dame. You know, I said, he might be okay. The one thing or the few things that I was good at was football. So, and being good at it, I realized that, you know, you start taking it more serious. There's nothing like that Friday night football field. It's unmatched. You, know, you get to the pros, you get to college, but being in high school is, is just different. Cause you ain't gonna get that back. Burke is the premier school for me and for a lot of other kids in North Louisiana. So yeah, I love it. Still do. I'm Marilyn Prothero. I'm one of the assistant principals at Bird High School. Um, knew him from football, of course, and we knew he was an up and coming, you know, he was gonna be on the varsity team. It was the third week of the season. Um, we were gonna play West Monroe, and I had just had a birthday that Sunday. I just turned 15. Sweep drill, he gets past me one time, so we gotta do it again. So, sweep drill again. I get there, I blow the play up. So it's one and one, you can't just leave it single, you can't just leave it even. And uh, the third time we met and collided, I remember it going black. And from there, I was trying to get up, but I couldn't. I was not on campus when it happened. I was sitting at my computer. I can still see where I was sitting at home. And we heard that it, there had been an accident. I don't think I really panicked. It was just, it was an eerie, kind of scary feeling. And Dr. Nanda, he said that it was just, it was a freak accident. What did they tell you specifically happened? Like neck injury, spinal cord injury, stuff like that. You know, you go from a split second being able to do everything for yourself to having someone have to do everything for you. Well, I started to sink into a slight depression and stuff like that because you can't get up and move around, work out, do all these other things that you were used to doing before. And, um, and if you do, you have to have, you have to be assisted. Had I been born with, uh, you know, something, an ailment where I was in the chair from the get-go, it would have been different. But knowing, having that taste of what it's like to do for yourself, it makes, it makes it hard. My occupation is a uh, direct service worker and I uh, ran into Norman's mom and she said, uh, how would uh, you feel, you know, uh, you know, helping work with Norman? And I told her, I said, man, I said, you know, it's kind of, kind of strange how we kind of ended up together, you know, but, you know, I, I think it, I think it's fake. As a kid, I never envisioned myself painting, ever. I didn't even see the need for it. Senior year up until maybe 2020, I hadn't done anything real up. I haven't done, I didn't have the desire or the really want to do anything artistic anymore. I tricked myself into thinking that I can't do it myself or by myself, so it's not really, not really a need for me to do it. 2020, a lot of times, you know, this is pandemic, this is August 2020. Started with basically me doing portraits of people's dogs. It, it, it's a lengthy process. I just try to assist them the best I can. It was just finding another way to do something that you've done before, is adaptation. We were amazed at his talent that he could paint with his paintbrush in his mouth. He, he doesn't 
talk about his art business. He's, he's a business, he's the CEO. You're so much more than what happened to you. 12 years from his accident. Um, there are some kids that don't know about it now, um, but we show him his art, show him his artwork that we have, and um, you know, and tell had tell his story, and so he continues to inspire, you know, our bird kids as well. Same with art, he helps he helps me as I help him. Uh, you know, I, I currently coach at the middle school, and uh, he'll come he comes to the games. So they switched the quarterback. You didn't even see that. Either. You know, say hey, you know notice this and that and this and that, he helps me. And the same, like I said, the same thing with his art. He uses that same uh, drive that he uses in sports. It's, he's attacking that, you know, you know that, that's his game, you know. The, the art or the photo or whatever he's doing is his game plan. For so long I was Norman Taylor, you know, the kid who got injured. But now it's Norman Taylor, the artist.